remember there are two different types of installations that this is designed for. This is a design where you can take one of those rectangles out of your garage door, pull it out, take the glass out, put this in place. It's a really easy install. It's also designed for sheds. Hey guys, it's Matt Hoots here with Sawhorse and we are going to help keep this shed cool during the summer and also get some fresh air during the winter time so the air doesn't stagnate and build up. So what I've got is a fan. Now this fan is going to install on the outside and it is DC current, which means that we are going to power it with the sun. We've got a solar panel that's going to go on the outside. So let's talk through the different stages of what we need to do to install this. So the first thing we do, as you can see um, above on the gable end, this is facing south. So we want to make sure that the shed is facing south and also that the fan is facing south because we need the sun to hit the panel, which is uh, providing power for the fan. So we've got this template and this template we just cut out of foam. We're going to mark the area up there and once we get this marked, we're going to drill four holes in the corners and cut this out. Now from there it's pretty easy. There's two different parts. You've got the fan itself which has the frame on it. So we screw this in place from the outside. We're going to use some sealant. The sealant goes around the edges of the fan to make sure that water doesn't get in. And again, that's just from, from driving reins. And once that's in place, we're going to slip the wire through the hole in the fan. That way we can wire it up in the inside and then attach the solar panel. Now the solar panel, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two screws. The instructions call for two screws. We might put three screws and uh, we're gonna pre-drill. What you wanna do when you're installing the solar panel on the outside is make sure that you're avoiding the actual solar part which is producing the power because you don't want to interrupt the power going through that if you drill through on the outside you're fine and once everything is assembled once you have the fan in place once you have the solar panel in place all you have to do is wire it up so we've got two wires we're going to attach them to a switch and we're going to leave it in on position that way for the majority of the year, this fan is running when the sun hits it. Now it's only going to run when the sun hits it. Now the reason that we're installing it on this shed right here is because one of our scouts, the uh, this is a Boy Scout shed. He was they're getting ready for summer camp. They said, Mr. Hoots, it's really hot in here during the summer. What can you do? So we've got one for the shed. I do want to thank Daniel Hoots for working on this. He did the install step by step. Uh, we put it in place, we seal the top, and it is good to go. Remember, there are two different types of installations that this is designed for. This is a design where you can take one of those rectangles out of your garage door, pull it out, take the glass out, put this in place. It's a really easy install. It's also designed for sheds. We probably did the one more, the more difficult install up here, which is actually having to make some cuts, because you can also take pop the gable vent out, if there is a gable vent, and put this fan in place. Thanks again for joining us on this journey as we continue to explore better building products and practices to help you have a more durable, healthy, safe, comfortable, and energy efficient home. For your convenience, we've uploaded other videos just like this. If you enjoyed this video, we appreciate it if you hit the like button and also hit subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any other questions about this topic.